Hi, it's me, it's Monica, and today we're going to talk about a very special subject, one that's very near and dear to my heart, and that is my heart on my cheek. So I get asked quite a bit, like, you know, if people notice it's a heart, they'll say, oh, that's really cute, why do you wear a heart on your cheek? Or sometimes if people don't notice a heart, or if people are trying to be rude, sometimes they'll go, oh my God, what is that on your face? And so I wanted to tell you a little bit about the history of that. So basically, every time I do my makeup, I have this little heart that I put on my cheek. Sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's smaller. It kind of depends on my mood, how big I make it, where I'm going, what I'm doing. You know, if I'm doing something more like a music thing or like a club thing, uh, you know, I'll do it bigger if I'm going out shopping or, you know, we're going out to eat or I want to be a little bit more low key, I'll do it a little bit smaller. If it's a like cuter, sexier outfit, kind of like what I have on right now, I'll do it a little bit bigger as well. And so where that comes from is when I first started doing my makeup. So you have to picture me. I'm about an eight year old boy. Um, at that point, I'm wearing my mom's and my grandma's and my aunt's like lingerie, their clothes, uh, you know, things like that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm basically cross-dressing, if you will. I, I, just, I hate to use that term, but, you know, I wasn't doing, you know, makeup or I wasn't doing, you know, I didn't have a wig. I wasn't wearing, you know, anything that was mine. Everything I had, I was borrowing from people. And so at that point, you kind of progress, right? I started with the underwear and then that kind of progressed to the clothes. So about the time I'm like eight or nine years old, I'm kind of big enough that I'm, you know, tall enough, old enough that I'm kind of starting to fit into some of my mom's like really cuter things, right? My mom was, my mom's 17 years older than me. She's tiny. And um, so about eight, nine years old, I'm, I'm actually starting to fit into kind of her skirts and her tops and stuff like really cute. And so naturally, kind of my next instinct, my next progression was to start to try to do makeup. And so, you know, when I would be home alone and my mom would go out somewhere um, and I'm home by myself, I'm, you know, literally like waiting to see the car drive away to go run upstairs to start getting dressed, right? To start putting on her clothes. And at that point, I started doing makeup. And so I started, you know, I wasn't doing like foundation or anything. We're talking like makeup. I'm talking like lipstick. I'm talking like maybe mascara sometimes. I would do like a little bit of blush. Um, I'm still not doing like a foundation at that point. But I just, I was always so fascinated by kind of like the historical dramas, the historical pieces, like the period pieces where you would see the girls and they would have like, you know, the dots, like the little fake moles. And so I started doing that. And the reason I put it in this spot is I actually had like this little tiny brown mole there. And so basically I would use one of her eyebrow pencils to just kind of darken it a little bit and then like kind of made it stand out. And I just thought it was like really super cute. It was really like, you know, super girly at the time. And I just, you know, loved doing it. So it kind of became one of my things. And then I remember at one point I saw one of those period pieces and one of the girls with the powdered wig and like all that powdered makeup and she had a little black heart and I just thought oh my gosh that is so cute right um so you know I, I I don't have a means to go shopping for myself at the time there was no internet at the time so it's not like I could go out and find like the little black heart to like you know put on my on my cheek and so basically what I ended up doing was I ended up just doing the same you know brown eyebrow pencil but instead of a dot I started to make a heart over the little mold that I had. And so, you know, fast forward to today, I, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if like, you know, it just lightened over the years, but basically that little brown spot that I used to pencil in, it's actually gone, uh, but I still do the heart in the same place. So every time I do my makeup, um, you know, like today, I did my liquid foundation, I did my blush with my little brush, I did my lipstick, um, and I penciled in my eyebrows. And then I also pencil in my little heart on my cheek. And it's just my signature style. It's one of those things, right? It's the heart-shaped sunglasses. It's the ears. It's the tiny little skirts, right, that show a lot of my leg. It's the crop tops that show the midsection in these high-waisted skirts. It's the, you know, big old heels. It's just, it's just part of my style. And I, you know, so again... It's Monica Ann Hart, and honestly, that's where the heart came from, right? So I've made videos talking about my name and how I picked it, and you'll have to watch those. But my last name that I use, which is heart, that actually is where it's come from, is the heart that I wear on my cheek. 
So I love getting questions like this. I love answering them via video. Uh, you guys are just so amazing. I love interacting with you. I love making these videos. I'm having such a blast doing them. And feel free to reach out to me with more questions, right? In the comments below, subscribe, ask me anything. I'm an open book. I will, you know, let's keep it clean, come on. But I will, you know, answer just about anything you ask me. I have no problem. So I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Tumblr. I'm on VK. I am on Instagram. Feel free to follow me. Feel free to DM me. Reach out to me. Say hi. I'd love to chat with you. We can talk about anything about me, anything about fashion, anything design, uh, you know, anything artsy at all. Um, just would absolutely love to just chat with you. But I wanted to make a video today because I get asked quite a bit about the heart. And it's like I said, it's really just one of those things that's just so just Monica and just so me. And I just absolutely, you know, love being girly and doing girly things like that and, and having it get noticed. So I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day.